Well, following the discovery of an aggressive brain tumor, an avid skier from Avon wasn't sure she'd survive to share her story, let alone ski again. But she has defied the odds. Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary skied along with her. And Jamie, she has one incredible story. She really does. And when can I ski is not the question you'd expect from somebody just diagnosed with stage four glioblastoma. But this was on her mind constantly. She has made an incredible recovery, and it's only been three months since the surgery. She hopes that her story encourages people to seek a second opinion if they don't feel well, to have a little faith, and to embrace the healing powers of the great outdoors. To be going back in time uh, at 45 is very difficult, but you know what? It's okay. Misty Gans is learning how to read again. Her memory and speech are slowly coming back too, but skiing, she never lost that. Just to be up here is just pure joy. You know, it's God's country. But Misty almost didn't make it back this season. Over the summer, increasing problems led to the discovery of an aggressive brain tumor. She lost the ability to read. She fell at work, then a seizure while driving. She was told it was all stress related. You're going through a nasty divorce. You're just having anxiety. You know, you're stressed. And I was like, no, something's different. That's when she met Dr. Eddie a neurosurgeon at Swedish Medical Center. He's my guardian angel. A brain scan revealed her tumor was small, but... It was kind of at the junction of a few different important circuits in the brain responsible for a wide array of functions, the most important being language. He performed an awake craniotomy while testing her speech skills. As I was resecting the tumor, relieving the pressure on her speech area, her speech got better. Misty's biggest concern, when she could ski again. He said, I didn't do this for you, for you to sit around, so go live your life. I'm like, perfect. And so I went and skied after um, my six-week follow-up um, from my awake craniotomy. <laughs> Now, Dr. Eddie, as he is lovingly known at Swedish, specializes in development of technology that focuses on this type of cancer, and he says he hopes someday that he finds something that will make his job obsolete. Misty is on a full road to recovery. She still has several months of treatment left to go. We're live in Summit County. Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.